Hey guys, Shalom from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2016 Chrysler 300 front bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And also hit that like button for more great videos like this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pop that hood. Alright guys, if you guys go on the top cover, there's going to be a push pin. Well, there's one right here, but this one's missing. There's going to be one right here, one right here, and one over here, okay? Let's see if there's any more. I think there might be a couple more right here. Is there another one right there, right there. There was one right here, but it's missing. Another one right here, and then another one right here. So all I'm going to use is a flathead to get these uh, push pins out of the way. So this one's fairly easy to take off. So you, let me just press down on that one and just go in between it with a flathead and push it up and it should come right up like that one. Now I'm going to move to the side of the bumper. All right, so again, get a fly head, get these push pins out of the way. That's one, there's two right here, and then a third one right here. Pretty hard, but intact. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that to the side, but then when you get to the fender liner, go ahead and push it to the side, like that. And you're gonna reveal this 10 millimeter bolt right here. So you're going to get a 10 millimeter socket and take that off. All right, so just up close version. There's that 10 millimeter right there. And so get a 10 millimeter socket just like that one. And like here. All right, so it looks like that. So you're going to do the same exact thing that you did on this side on the other side. All right, guys, so we're going to go to the bottom of the bumper and you're going to see, I believe there's seven millimeters. Uh, bolts, but I'm gonna confirm but let me see if I can show you guys underneath here So guys if you guys follow your bumper you're gonna see these bolts all underneath And they're gonna be seven millimeters. And you're gonna look. Let me see if I can get a close look Just like that one right there, and they're gonna go all the way underneath your bumper, okay? So I'm gonna take those off and I'll tell you how many of those do you need to take off? All right, so it is a seven millimeter. I have confirmed that right there. So eight of these little, these screws right here that holds the undercarriage of the vehicle. All right, guys. So now, once you guys remove everything from the side of the bumpers, underneath the bumper and on top, go ahead and uh, pull up. It should come right off, let's see. All right, maybe I can show you guys by pulling this back. Oh, actually you can see right here. There's like a bracket that holds this on right here. So it's pretty tight. Okay, so you're gonna have to use, so, Get this uh, top part off or up, and then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to kind of pull it up like that, okay? And then I'll pop it. So it's still held down like with like a little tiny uh, part of the bumper right here. So sometimes this thing breaks off, okay? All right. So once you guys get those top portions uh, kind of popped off. I'm gonna go to the side of the bumper. All right, so the side of the bumper, you're gonna notice the same exact thing. You're gonna have some resistance right here. So kind of pull it hard. Ah, right there. So it's pretty tight on there, just like the top portion. So do that on the other side also. All right, guys. Once you guys kind of pull off on this side of the top portion of the bumper, on the sides of the bumper. Uh, once you guys are pulling off uh, the last 
side, kind of be mindful because this bumper is going to try to come off. So once you guys are pulling, kind of hold it right here and then slowly take it off. Just remember, you guys have those fog lights still. All right. So with this one right here, the clip is already broken from the accident. So right there, that's like the fog light. That clip right there is broken. But let me show you guys on the other side what you guys have to be careful for. Okay, as you guys can see right here, you guys have all these connection right here, okay? So even right there on the uh, side reflector, you guys have those uh, wires. All right guys, so on the reflector side, I'm just gonna go ahead and push down on here and that should release it ah. oh there we go and that clip is taken off all right so one thing i do advise is take off the driver's side fog light and also the clip right here off first so then you guys can maneuver to the other side it's going to be a lot easier for you and then we took off that uh reflector harness right there and then as you guys can see i kind of moved it a little bit so i can get into this back area right here and then this back area right here let me see if i can show you guys but right there is going to be that clip and just kind of press down on it right here you find a clip right there and and it'll come right off okay so again this main harness right here I'm just gonna press down on this thing right here and I release it all right so here is your bumper off now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that on a stand so we can take off the accessories all right actually before I put it on a stand we actually have to get these rivets off so rivets are like these things right here you have to drill them out so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. Okay. All right. So you can just slide this off. Shit. What is it being held on? Just drive right off. Hmm. It's kind of stuck. There we go. It got stuck on the top end right here. Okay, now that our bumper's upside down. And we put a stand right there. You can guys do this also on the floor. But put a cardboard underneath there so it doesn't scratch up the bumper if you guys are reusing it. But we're going to come over here to the fog lights area. Alright, so we're going to come to the fog light area first. We're going to take off. Well, we're going to get the clip off. So guys, on this red thing, you actually have to press it up first. And then I think it releases it not easier comment down below because i've never seen this before it's like it's a, you press like that yeah because it stops the clip from actually moving all the way up so i think you have to push this up first all the way up and then press the clip down and then you can pull all right so once we have those wires kind of loose right back here this is going to be in a clip. I'm just using a flathead to push it up. It's just all done like that. The other thing is, it's going to be like the 7mm bolts right here. I think there's one right there. So there's going to be one back there, one right there, and then another one right here. So there's going to be three of them. Then you're going to take off. All right guys, so now we have this bar right here. Let's see how you take it off. 
Okay, so there's like push pins in here. All right, guys. So on this ball right here, all the way back there, right underneath. Well, this one's kind of hidden because it's damaged, but there's push pins in there. This one right here. There's two, three, four. It looks like four of them. But you guys can get that with a fly head or a panel removal tool. All right, so I'm lucky enough to have one of these panel removal tools. But you can have, use a fly head, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. But basically, you go in there. And let's see if I can get some leverage over here. It looks like that. There's like four of them. Oh, I see. So you actually have to take off these clips because it's attached to the grill. Alright. I don't know why, but... So I guess this could, this could be a good video on how to take off that grill also because I know a lot of people uh, change out that grill for a mesh one. So change out that grill. looks like you have to take off this uh, plastic piece and these four of these little clips right here. So, now that the grill's here, let's see how we take off this grill. All right, so there's these clips right here that goes all around the, uh, the grill. So I'm gonna try a fly head. I'm gonna try the corner first. So, you kinda have to press on that thing. Let's see. I wonder if I can just pull this grill off. Man, why do you make it so difficult? Hmm. This grill could literally break. I have to do a fast, better way to do it. No, but this thing is like on the tight. I think if we get one, we get to go for the other ones. Okay, got one. If you guys see from right here where the front of that clip is I'm, I'm putting i'm wedging my fly head in there so i can get it i can kind of get it underneath it in between that plastic piece and that grill and then prying it up it has to be an easy way so if you guys done this before, let me know if there is an easy way. Pretty much that's what I'm seeing. You gotta be careful so you don't crack that uh, that comb piece too. But I think once we get the top piece, everything else will be easier to take off. So on the bottom grill, it's a lot easier to take off because all it is is these push pins, not push pins, these clips. You get a fly head, and then on top of it, on the bottom of it, you just gotta push down, and then push down, and then it comes right off. See, so as you guys can see right there, this is what it looks like, and then there's like this top portion that's up, and you just gotta push down on it push down on it and it'll go down and then kind of pull back on this okay so push down and then there you go so let's see I mean we got one two three four and that should come right off all right so now we're gonna move on to the fog light area right there so it should be the same thing that we did on the front area. So it's going to be this tab right here. Press down on it.
Oh, that was a little doozy right there. But there's the top part that you take off, and then the chrome piece right here comes right off. Alright, so the next thing is going to take off these uh, reflector lights. T25 Torx. So there's going to be two bolts. Let me take it off right there. This one. And the second one. I think that's the easiest thing on this bumper. There you go. So do that on the other side too. Alright guys, here's our new bumper right here. Freshly painted. The old one is all the way down there. So this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and do everything in reverse. So we're gonna do the reflector first, and then the grills, and then the top part. All right, let's get started. So first, we're gonna turn this upside down, and remember, put it on a soft surface, okay? Mm, all right. So the first thing we're gonna do, the reflectors. So just line up the holes, and then put those screws back into place all right so the next thing we're going to do is going to put that middle uh, grill on on the lower bottom so on these fog light covers there's two pieces so there's one piece right here that's going to go last this is going to come from the front and this one's going to be from the back so again all we're doing is pushing down on this all right so now that the fog light covers are or holders are on now we're going to go ahead and put these uh, plastic pieces So now we're going to actually put the fog lights in. So line it up first. So I'm not going to have comments down below saying how did I put that fog light back on if it was broken. Well, you know, the traditional way. The mechanic special zip ties. Just like that. It's, it's a extra course that we have to take to making sure like everything's secure if it's broken so zip tie that's I think class 405 at your local community college all right so next thing up is going to be that grill again all you're going to do on that is going to push down on it but make sure whenever you guys are pushing down on it all the tabs are in line before you start pushing down on it because if you miss one you're going to take the whole thing apart that's going to be a disaster Alright, so next step is going to be that rebar right there, so just line it up. Alright, so now you guys have that chrome piece that goes right there. And let's see. Okay, there we go. So all you do is press down on it. Same thing, make sure the tabs are in line. Alright guys, so I know you guys were waiting for me to put this bumper onto the actual uh, vehicle but unfortunately we have to actually end this video because we do have another video that we have to uh, take off that fender and then we can install the bumper. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe and turn on push notification and also I thank you guys for watching this uh, video on how to take off and the next video how to put on this bumper for a 2016 Chrysler 300. Thank you.